Well, I told you guys. Today, Saturday, Sunday, we're going to be doing a one-hour Dolmen preview here. And uh, the producer on Dolmen, uh, Kiev Martins, has been kind enough to join me here. You can say hi, Kiev. Oh, I think. Hi, Lobos. Oh, hi. <laughs> Great to be here. Thank you for the opportunity. Yes, absolutely. Thanks for joining me for this uh, preview. Um, now, people in the chat, you may remember that we checked out this game about uh, two or three, almost three years ago, actually. Um, and then uh, I hadn't heard any more from it until recently at Gamescom. They actually kind of did some more release videos and stuff. Uh, continue not great out. Yeah, I did play a little bit. Um, and now it's back. And I don't want to... Uh, as far as I know, they're on their trailer. You can correct me, but it said release in 2022. I don't know if you had anything more specific to tell us. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> no, I can't tell anything <laughs> more okay. than that. Okay, cool. So 2022. Um, also... Uh, I'm not sure if you're listening to the audio on the stream, Kiev, but you can listen through Discord if that's easier, because that'll be instant. Um, but you might hear me twice, I guess. Okay. I'm not sure. Oops. Boogalat, thanks for the 1,500 bits. But uh, let's let's go ahead and get started. Um, so I, I did play a little bit to just kind of refamiliarize myself with the controls, but we're going to jump in here and... Oh, that's me, Lobos. Um, I'm going to overwrite my previous slot here. They, uh, they do have a male, female selection here, which does change the voice acting, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, they've also given us a couple of builds here to choose from. We're going to start with the, uh, the first build here, which is Chainsaw Shield, uh, man, in this case. And let's see, I think that's... Oh, there is some customization, so... Um, there's coloring in here. Now, Kiev, there is coloring when I'm creating my character, but is there also coloring within the game if I find new armor and stuff? Yes, you can change the colors using the spaceship anytime you want. Oh, okay. So is the spaceship basically like your hub that you'll return to and manage your equipment at? Yes, the the equipment is always with you, but the, the ship offer a new kind of options. Awesome, very cool. Uh, let's find out, Sean Teacup. I'm going to apply that very um, haphazard customization that I did to my helmet. I trust you. You guys could do better. Dolmen is a crystal oh. whose radiation has interdimensional properties. It makes the membranes that separate universes thinner making different realities collide. An interdimensional rift appeared at the mining station in Revion Prime. The entire installation was infested by creatures and who knows what else. We don't know if this was an attack, an accident, or a natural phenomenon, but we know what caused it. We need to contain the effects of this catastrophe before it's too late. Your mission is to go to the mining station in Revion Prime, exterminate the creatures, and bring back samples and crystals so we can study ways to contain future incidents. You will be teleported to the station. We will provide tactical support, but once inside the station, you will be on your own. Due to interference, the teleportation will be turbulent. We count on you to contain this crisis. Preparing to teleport in three, Two, one. Welcome to Revion Prime. Oh, that was easy. Um, so, uh, Massive Work Studio is y'all's studio in Brazil. Is that correct? Yes. We, uh, the, the whole team is Brazilian, I guess. And and how many how many guys do you have working on the game? Well, right now I only twenty to finish the game. Wow, twenty. 
Is there a, was was it a smaller team to begin with? Like, what was kind of the 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 base size of the development team that you guys had? Uh, a little more than that, I guess. Forty. I'm I'm I'm, I'm a new employee, I guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm in the project. Uh, Delacia. Okay. Uh, Kiev, Kiev is the producer here. Oh, wait. One Dr. second. Laboja. She's the driller head scientist of the installation, responsible for the bioengineering department. She was conducting some genetics experiments here? i never seen anything like this. If she's still alive, her ex-biology experience will be of great help against the Nicoderma. I see what I can do. Oh, there's my character talking. Dr. Loboja. And so I did already ask. I was like, just by chance, is that, is that at all <laughs> reference to me? But no. Uh, Kiev Kip said, no, no, it's not. <laughs> but okay, wow. Well, I, I just kind of jumped right in here and there's already a lot going on. So just so the, the viewers can know, um, you got a pretty standard action RPG package here. You got a roll. You got block. You got light attacks heavy attacks i think that was actually a leap attack there um you have a gun which this is kind of a handgun that shoots like a cryo damage and will the you'll see that there is uh, a pretty heavy elemental damage component to the game so we've got this handgun and then we've also got uh this is kind of a shotgun i believe we can pop in the menu and see all sorts of things here. Um, and Kiev was telling me a little bit about how these weapons will have these special abilities that only come out when you're attacking enemies afflicted by certain elements. Um, would you like to maybe go into a little more detail on that for us, Kiev? Oh, of course. Uh... This game will use the rock, paper, scissors system. So the enemies have some kind of weakness based on these elements. And your weapon has strengths based on these elements. So yeah. you want to use the best element against each enemy and the best element to combine with your weapon. Your melee weapon. Gotcha. So let me see here. Does this shotgun do... A damage type. What is this? Uh, I see it's got ability triple shot. This on... weapon specifically does physical damage. Oh, okay, okay. So we've got ice on this sword of ours. So uh, if we apply ice to an enemy, then we'll be dealing some extra ice damage on hit. But let's let's find our first enemy here. Who's this kind of ghoulish shade creature? Um, I did discover that there's a, a kind of a, oh, oh my goodness that was a lot there's like a a kind of a perfect block mechanic Oops, this is the regular block oh, oh my gosh I'm running out of stamina and everything i swear i played this before so but what i'm doing is i'm giving you guys a preview of how the healing works which is that you can see I have health, stamina, and then a blue bar. The blue bar is energy, which will regenerate over time. Or, ow. Or you can use this uh, kind of token item, the battery, to recharge your energy. There's a, there's a well-timed block there. Um, and the energy is used for healing. Like that. Or you can also use it for ammo for your weapon for your your uh, hand your firearms rather so i applied some oh gosh some cold to him there and then i'm gonna try and refill you i did and then i'm gonna hit him with that cold until i apply the cold okay there we go and now i should do oh he's slower too This fellow seems a bit tormented. Uh, 
do you want to give us like a background on what exactly i mean we got a little bit of a an idea from the opening <laughs> cut scene but <laughs> he, uh i mean unless that's spoilers i, I don't want to if that's well, all... this is not the beginning of the game, okay? This is that's a late true. stage of the game. That is true. We're not. Uh, you're facing some genetic uh, engineered enemies. Oops. They were specifically designed to torment you, Lobo Junior, but uh, the AI can work as well with other players. Oh, nice. That's that's handy. <laughs> Let's see what we got in this room here. Oh, okay. Uh, that has a lot of genetic engineering, it seems. Okay. And that's... It looks like he's doing ice damage, but... Ow. What are all of the known elemental types that you guys have in the game here? Uh, just physical, to make the game simpler. Just physical? I think there's a few more than that, though, right? <laughs> what have you got? The uh, ice and... No, uh, sorry. You have ice damage, but it's uh, elemental damage. Mm -hmm. Fiery and acid. Fire and acid? Okay. This guy was doing kind of a... No elemental, you just have the physical damage. Oh, I got you. Oops. Okay, so you can see there are these attacks that you... Uh, you need to just dodge out of the way of as opposed to try and block or I don't know if you can roll through them I haven't tried yet Ooh, I was trying to get my energy back okay there we go also uh, I believe Kiev is watching the chat so if you guys have questions um, you may, may be able to grab some questions from there otherwise I, I might be able to check them out for you uh, <laughs> like how it floats, it's spooky. Oh, uh, someone asked about the release date. I can't tell you, but 2022, I promise. <laughs> yeah, 2022. Oh, they're all saying hi to you. Hello. Let's see here. Okay, so this guy is gunning us down. Can dodge it, no problem. Ow. This guy gets two guns. That's not fair. All right. Is he going to explode? He did not explode. Okay, got it. Yeah, our our main weapon here is basically a uh, a chainsaw sword, which is pretty sweet. But also on this particular character, we have this big honkin' club that, um, clonk, smash, <laughs> it's smash. Let's see what we got in this room here. So this game definitely has uh, a horror kind of feel to it. Uh, more so than other games in the genre that I've experienced. Is that a core part of the experience that you guys are going for? Uh, yeah, so we tried to make some uh, Oho game in Souls-like style. Nice. Were there any big influences? I, if I had to guess, I would say Dead Space, maybe? Uh, at least with the whole sci-fi aspect of it. Uh, the biggest... The biggest... Uh, inspiration was Lovecraft, actually. Oh, okay, okay. Let's see. So I'm gonna hit this guy with ice and then try this club out. Crunch! Yeah, that's some pretty good damage there. Ow. Oh my gosh, that flurry attack is brutal. Nice. <laughs> I 
I love, I love, uh, well, I love Lovecraft, so I, I'm always intrigued to see what kind of, uh, how that translates into the video game necessarily, how far it'll, it'll go necessarily. Um, let's see here. There was, uh, something, oh, right, I didn't use this yet, but, so do you get this from the start of the game, this reactor mechanic, or is that something you, you get later? And you will start with one of them, but you can collect the others early in the game. Okay. Um, so the chat knows this reactor will allow you to use an energy mode where you... Zoop. Um, it, it, I, as far as I know, it will do different effects depending on the reactor, but it seems to uh, infuse your attacks with, in this case, like ice. So this ice one, does that give you extra defense? Is that what I'm looking at while you're in the energy mode? Oops. Hey, uh, the passive ability don't need to be activated with the energy mode. Oh, it's a passive ability, of course. Ah, okay, but okay. The energy mode will change with the reactor. Interesting. Okay, so, so the all of these other effects are just active. Um, without energy mode is that right oh, yes the passive abilities don't need the energy mode but try it try it one all right let's see let's find an enemy to use this energy mode on Um, can you tell us a little about... No, I'm not French. I'm Brazilian. Oh. Uh, the game has been developed by the last five years. I'm just uh, answering some questions in the chat. Yeah, and feel free if you have something you want to say or that I missed something or something important, feel free to just jump in as well. Um, I was going to ask uh, what you could tell us about this actual location that we're in. Because I know it's a bit midway into the game. And this is uh, called Old Lab. It's the last installation that you need to solve the problem. Okay. Let's see. Dolma crystals have many properties that interact in peculiar ways in different creatures, so far with unpredictable results. Research potential is staggering, but the subjects do not resist long and end up mutating due to Dolman's radiation. Many of them have become shadowy creatures, others venomous. The tests follow. Dr. Lobojum. Mm -hmm -hmm. All right. Uh, this planet is not Earth, okay? This planet is called Revian Prime. Revian Prime. Oh, yeah, I think I saw that on one of the weapons. Or, right, let's see. Technology's Revian. Okay. Interesting. Oh, and I saw this, uh, let's see, where was it? Technologies. This looked really interesting because it seemed like there's some really powerful abilities here. Um, how do you unlock these uh, upgrade points? You need to change your equipment. Each piece of equipment has different technologies to add to your tools. Mm. So the actual gear that you equip will get you more or less of those points. Is that right? Exactly. Gotcha. Yeah, I want to show the, them some of these stronger abilities. Like, um, <clears throat> well, this one right here. Melee attacks slightly recover health points. I like that a lot. I, oh my gosh. I'm hearing creepy things. But <laughs> I really like being able to get health back just from attacking. One of my favorite mechanics. Um, but these stronger ones... Uh, when your health becomes zero, automatically heal you to 50% health, stamina, and energy. 10 minute cooldown. Um, this is kind of sim similar, but for stamina, gives you increased stam regen. Activated when pressing block with energy mode active. Turn on an energy force field around you. It will absorb 600 damage. So... Oh my gosh. All right, so let's see here. Wow. 
Oh, he, okay, he jumps on me. Ooh, the reflections. Right, because there is... There is... This game is RTX enabled. Oh, gosh. Let's see here. Right now, we're playing with... Uh, just so you guys know... Uh, medium ray tracing intensity and balanced DLSS. So, yeah, there's some nice, nice reflections going on in here. Um, we have a question. Does this game have New Game Plus? I can't talk about that yet. Oh, okay. Sadly. <laughs> Not a problem. Okay, this guy's reflecting all of my... Jeez. I am out of energy restore, so this is not looking good here. Ow. Hmm. Okay. He's ice, though, so I feel like I should use fire, but I'm not sure that I have any fire weapons right now. Got me through the shield. I seem underleveled. This is a specifically a Lobos Jr. build, by the way, that they gave me, so... Just so you know. Uh, okay, I died. I died, but that's okay. I'm trying okay. not to laugh here, but uh, remember that CO... <laughs> the what? Really likes you and gave you extra levels to, oh. to challenge this. <clears throat> well, don't... Okay, so I have extra levels. I'm still dying. That's okay. That's okay. It's a learning process. <laughs> Isn't the shotgun fire? Uh, I will double check in a sec. It does have a red icon. Actually, it might be. How did I do the triple shot? Did I just mash it? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, he got big after he jumped on me. That's... Oh, my gosh. Thank you guys for the resubs and all that by the way oh my gosh i've been trying to focus on the the gameplay while doing this but i'm getting wrecked how do you uh oh god <laughs> how do you feel about uh the difficulty of the game kev are you are you a master at this can you no hit this whole thing yes i can but i have a thousand hours of game so <laughs> that's fair that's fair and i have what i have let like, me give me a, a bit of advice i'll take it try to start the combat with a jump attack a jump heavy attack so you can stagger the enemy Ooh. okay all right all right we'll give it a go let's see here where is uh you know what i already I already cleared out this room oh no this guy opens the door oh no 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 Let's see. That was not the leap attack. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty... So it looks like I've got a dash while locked on and a roll while not locked on. Fine. Oh, this guy's almost dead. Oh, I'm out of energy. Saved. Ooh. 
So, um, if I wanted to uh, level up in this game, where do you do the leveling up at? I died. <laughs> uh, using the spaceship. Okay, so all back in the spaceship. And are you able to travel back from any checkpoint? Yes, you can. Uh, oh. But I don't think you have experience points to use. <laughs> Not right now, no. <laughs> Am I able to go check out the ship? Is that something I can do? Yeah, you can. Oh, okay, cool. Because I know there were some... Uh, you need to use the beacon. Oh, okay. I'll do that after I uh, check out this area, because I know this is a real quick spot, at least as far as I could tell. Um, and then we'll go check out the ship, because I haven't done that yet, so... Let's see. Ah, I like these guys. These guys are easier. Hmm. Acid catalyst. Okay. Armor plates. Carbon parts. Tubes. Oh, I got Revian Carapace Epic. Well, that's... Maybe that'll help. <laughs> Yeah, if you guys are interested in more Dolmen... I, I mean, it's been a while, but we did a gameplay preview about almost three years ago that had a different area. So if you're interested in seeing some more areas of the game, you can watch that as well. Um, but let's hop back to the ship here and see what we got. Oh, I see. Samples you collected from the field show high-density polymer chains and intriguing technology. You should be able to incorporate that technology to yours with the synthesizer. Oh. Hmm. Shows my stat. Oh, I see. There's stats up if I, if I had enough points to do so, which I don't. Okay, nanites. I need 17,000 for next upgrade. Okay. What is this guy? There's no recipe in the database. Oh. Need more recipes. Go up. I'll go up. Look at the shiny. It's so shiny. Ah, okay. So here I, here I can color my, <laughs> my helmet a bit different. Or reset it so it looks better. I like that. We'll do that. Okay. So, am I like a member of a of a corporation or or government or military or something? Uh, you're a member of the Zone Company, who is exploring this planet. Mm. This guy is very tall. He's a driller. He's a what? Respawn. A driller. Uh, driller. Kind of alien. Oh, okay. Game. Driller. Gotcha. Multiplayer. Oh, I see multiplayer here. Does that mean co-op and PvP or just co-op? Just co-op. Okay. Well, co-op is nice because... As we all know, there are points in games that can become a bit much, so it's always good to grab a friend and play along. Um, another question on the co-op, how do you guys, uh, I guess, handle it? Is it something like Dark Souls where it's a little more ambiguous and you don't know who you're going to cooperate with or is it more like I want my friend specifically to come into my world or something like that you will be able to uh, ask a friend to help you with the bosses gotcha using some call of the doming fragments okay all right so let's teleport back to old lab now that we saw the the hub there that you can upgrade with Let's try and make some progress.
And it looks like you guys have a similar mechanic where you can pick up your... Oh, timeline restored, actually. Interesting. So you... So time is actually being manipulated? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. you, you, you actually don't die in this game. You just uh, use the Nanites to analyze multiple lines of events and choose one and you survive. Oh, wow. That's cool. You are kind of super soldier. You are not just a regular soldier. I'm not taking your advice, but now I'll do more leap attacks. Oh. Go. Oh, right. I think you should try the energy mode. Oh yeah, you're energy had, mode. Uh, you're not using it yet. You're right. You're right. That's my fault. I tend to. Oh, I tend to get very focused and forget other things that exist. Yeah, that's pretty good. So it looks like you temporarily will consume energy until you run out, and then energy mode turns off. Oh. That's pretty powerful, though. Hello. I see this guy hiding up here. Come on down. Can I shoot him? Yeah, there we go. Yes. Cool. <laughs> okay. So I like that because while you're in energy mode, instead of using stamina, you use the energy, right? But then when it runs out, you still have a full stamina bar that you can use to keep, you know, punishing an enemy or something. So that's pretty cool. I uh, uh, see that you can recover energy hitting enemies. Uh, see of what now? You can recover permanent energy hitting enemies. In oh, combat. I see. Recover permanent energy because, um, oh, I hear, oh, it's this guy. So how do you lose permanent energy? No. Oh. You healing said, yourself. Okay, healing yourself. I got you. Gotcha. Okay, so I, then my... I get it, I get it, I get it. Ow. Speed minus 20%. He's using that on me. I'm going to try using this shotgun and see if it works on him. Ow. I need energy for that. Uh, this weapon have attack. We will spend permanent energy as well. Oh, okay. Oh, he got stunned. I like that. These spitty guys are brutal. Keep getting hit so he just keeps reapplying the cold luckily there's a giant pillar here pillar here which he can't seem to to figure out i'll take advantage of that oh my Ooh. <laughs> we're gonna get him let's see Keep trying to dodge that, but I'm mistiming it. Well, he's dead at least. There you go. Okay, but I'm out of out of batteries now. But I'm at full health, so yeah. <laughs> okay. I think we've got past all these little side rooms. Mm -hmm. well, 
it's a fiery version of this. Oh yeah, does this game have any difficulty settings? Or is it just one setting? Uh, just one. Okay. Ouch. Double ouch. Let's see if I can freeze this guy. Oh, I don't have any energy. That's a problem. I think I can perfect block his leap attack if I don't get hit by that. <laughs> Ladies always ask as if it's possible to disable the damage numbers. Only if you disable the UI. Mm, okay, so it's built into the base UI. Let's try to make some progress past that guy. I did die. Uh, actually, I didn't die. That was another timeline, you see. This timeline, <laughs> I, have, I have not even taken any damage yet. There we go. I'm getting it. That was the wrong time to try that. You didn't notice the damage numbers before now? I like damage numbers because you can tell if, you know, something that you're doing is actually more effective or less effective and especially with the elemental focus that they have in here uh that makes sense for feedback on that this is a chainsaw sword yes uh yes <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of laser guns in this game and you can parry in this game lobos call it a uh, perfect blocking there you go yeah, I just did it right there. Oh, he jumped on me, though. Oh. Here, I'll try it again. Oh, he's big now. There we go. That's a perfect block right there. Oh, I think he healed. Well, I don't like that. There oh. we go again. Restore, restore. No. <sighs> so fast. So fast. All right. Don't let them jump on your head. That's bad. That that enemy is either really easy or suddenly really tough. Depending on how that goes. He did vampire me. We're gonna get past him. This is just day one of three, by the way, so you can track my progress and see how much better I get by the end of it. You know? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's why I'm starting off, you know. We're going easy on it, so. Oh, no. The next days. There we go. That's a perfect block there. Oh. She just kept going. Oh, there's an item. Uh, the benefits of a perfect block are stagger. And if you block with the energy mode on, you get extra damage. Oh, I like that. Oh, no, I, did, I missed that parry. All right, let me try that. I didn't block. There we go. Wowie. I'm, I'm gonna die though. Okay, there we go. I did it! Did he drop anything? What? No, he didn't. Okay, let's go take on this fire spinny boy. 
What's up, Blood Rain? How's it going? Oh, I forgot about this guy. Yeah, Fox. Oops. Okay. Any tips for this fire guy? Fire guy? I suppose just ice. The, um... Parrying his leap attack seemed to work pretty well. Oh, gosh. Okay. There we go. Uh oh. Did I aggro another guy? Yeah! Yes! Nice, nice. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. No. Oh, I let him do that. to move in. There we go. Nice. Got him. Dolmen fragments. Wow. <laughs> Spinny. He's got to be guarding something nice over here, right? Oh. Although he did drop some dolmen fragments. So do you guys have a uh, a number of bosses total in the game that you'd like to talk about? Or is that a secret? Uh, I don't think it's a secret, but I, I can I think I can tell you that we have nine to ten bosses. And you guys have an estimated uh, length as far as a first playthrough goes? 16 hours if you're a, a medium player. Uh -oh. I took longer than that because I like to farm, so I, I don't think I count. <laughs> I do like to farm as well, so... Ouch. And I need a better strategy here. 16, sorry. Yeah, 16. That's what he said. Oh, he's gonna get vampired back. Uh, hold on. Oh. It's tough. It's tough. Okay, let's give you some more tips. Okay. If you use your energy mode, you can avoid that, uh, oh. that attack. Entirely, huh? He will not be able to grab you. Wow. That's good to know. I, I, at that point, I would have used it. I just, I didn't have time to pop a battery. So I was out of energy. Just trying to find some breathing room there. Oh, see, you were talking about getting too technical. And now somebody's asking about temporal injection, anti-aliasing. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. Cool. Cancelled. There we go. Now, keep in mind, this is later in the game. This is not like the first stage of the game. Um, and I did play this like three years ago and a little bit in kind of remembering the mechanics to it. But this isn't how the game starts off necessarily. There we go. Oh, thought he was dead.
Nice. Yeah, like three years ago. The game's been in development for five years, I believe. Oh, shoot. Okay, I thought he was going to do the multi-slash there. No. Did I aggro that guy? I think I did. Oh, I definitely did now. Maybe not. Okay, I'm gonna try and sneak past this guy. I don't think I I don't think it worked. Release date right now is 2022. No no more specifics than that. However, I think he's just gonna chase me. Leap at me. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. That's not as bad as I thought. Nice. Oh, it's so fast. Oh, no. Do you have any uh, any tactics for this guy that might make him easier? Besides the parry. You can avoid it. <laughs> or you can try to jump attack straight. But not with your hand to happen. Try to jump attack uh, so the blade take damage, but not you. I got you, I got you. Oh. There we go. Oh, nice. And he got stunned. So just spacing. Oh, no, this guy now. All right, it's fine. Yes. Try that with the second weapon. Oh, okay. Yeah, good call. Good call. I haven't been using this very much because I, I, I tend to get punished with it. Wow. for him to make his move first. Come on now. Oh. Nice. Yeah, okay, that's doing a bit better. Big bonk. <laughs> nice. So, uh... Is the game built in a way that you could theoretically do a gun-only playthrough? Yes. You, you, you taste that in the day three. Has anybody in the office done a gun-only playthrough? Sorry, can you ask again? Oh, I was asking if anybody in the office, like uh, uh, any of the developers had done a full gun-only playthrough. Yes, <laughs> oh, they no. prefer that because you need a little bit less uh, ability. You can stay back and... Oops. Oh no. It's easier to shoot enemies down. Simple like this. Sure. Kill. <gasps> nice. I know he's going to blow up. He's going to blow up. Right. I've got one battery left. Driller field generator. 
Nice. Oh, wait, I think I'm backtracking this way. Yeah. <clears throat> I do have a gun. Yes, I've got a handgun that applies ice damage. And I also have a shotgun, which I believe applies fire damage. Um. Yeah, somebody's asking if how important the guns are. And I think I could answer that with um, considering how you guys have a lot of elemental focus in this. And the, the guns are a way to apply different elements. Would you agree? Uh, I think it depends more on your game style. You can play the game without using them because you can use the energy mode. Oh, right, the energy mode, yeah. But I like them, so... Depends on your style. Um, a couple of panels on character and equipment customized. You can dye your equipment. Mm -hmm. You do it at character creation, but you can also go back to the main hub, which is a spaceship, and adjust the colors there as well. There we go. Oh, missed. Ooh. Uh, there is no magic in this game. I see a big door. Pyro metal rare. Cool. Nice. Guns are magic. <laughs> Want to chop up everything. Hmm. About how far into the game would you say this is, if you had to guess? Maybe percentage wise? Well, unless you would need three more hours to end the game. Okay, okay. So pretty, pretty far in. Oh, a checkpoint. Oh, uh, not a checkpoint. <laughs> oh, I see. Multiplayer. Okay, okay. And This is a boss beacon, so you can call out. Okay, so if I wanted help for a boss fight, okay, then that... There we go. <laughs> Melee weapons have uh, can get elemental properties as well. I'll show you. He was talking about um, the uh, energy mode. I'll show you. Okay, this is... Oh, geez. Laboja herself. Boy. Oh, he is she stunned? I think she's stunned. Okay, not anymore. Ow. Okay, so energy mode is like this, and it'll apply an element to your weapon. And that depends on the reactor that you have equipped. Oh my. Let's try the shotgun. Ooh, that's pretty effective. A lot of energy use, though. Let me no, no. 
I'm still alive. Now's the time to heal. And that's all I got. There we go. Starting to get it. Ugh. That quick attack is scary. Oh, again. Okay, I died. But that was... But I didn't... Nice first try. That was not bad. Uh, was that the start of a second phase? With that big red... Yes. Of, okay, okay, okay. So, maybe we're... Maybe we've learned phase one. Loboja greater than Lobos Jr. Well. For now, maybe. Remember, this is an alternate timeline. Or that was. This is the true timeline. Where I'm alive and unharmed. Uh-oh. Here's some more of that energy mode. Since these guys are weak to ice. Or susceptible to it, shall I say. Ow. Um, the healing mechanic, yes. So, I have energy, the blue bar that's charging up. Uh, and energy is used for energy mode, for weapons, as well as for healing. Um, if I use energy mode or, uh, yeah, if I use energy mode like this, the energy will regenerate slowly like that. But if I heal, oh my gosh. If I heal, it'll temporarily reduce the maximum energy. But you can restore that with a consumable item called a battery. Bloop. And uh, there you go. If you had to rate the difficulty of this game, Kiev, uh, from 1 to 10, how difficult would you feel that it is overall? I would say... Eight, but has our Souls game. Uh, you can get better. So <laughs> sure, sure, yeah. Oops. My nice, nice. <laughs> Oh yeah, we could try equipping another core for for that boss fight. Um, I haven't used any other ones yet. Let's see. So toxic. I presume that would add a, a poison effect once you build it up, maybe? An acid effect or a fire yeah. effect. But that boss is weak against ice. Oh, okay, okay. So I actually should stick with the ice then. Oh. I'm going to try and deal with this guy again. I like that. That ranged club strat. Oh! Nice. Okay, get out, get out. Remember that can also block using your weapon, okay? Oh, yeah. I think I tried that earlier. Is it less... Considerably less effective? Oops. The timing is different, so it's kind of cranky the first time. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, I uh, I got cornered with the helicopter attack, so. <laughs> All 
All right, we'll give it one more go. Now, we are just doing an hour today of Dole Men. However, tomorrow and Sunday as well, we're going to do another hour. So we've got three total character builds that we're going to check out. This was just the first one. And uh, tomorrow we will do the second build. And if we don't beat the boss now, we can, uh, we can get back there and take him on tomorrow. See how we do. Oh, that's a lot of slice slashing. Nice. Yeah, of course, drunk. <laughs> yeah, the guy's ranged attack is, isn't too bad to dodge, but it's also easy to mess up. So. Nice. Okay, yeah. Getting better and better. Oh, hello. Yeah, that leap attack in is very handy. Yeah. These enemies are not match for you anymore. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. Back to this guy. Oh, whoops. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, he's not getting stunned anymore. Uh-oh. My plan. There we go. Yeah. Oh, timeline restored. There you go. That other one never happened. That's that's not that. That's not gonna. Oh, but we haven't even used one battery yet. Easy. Kind of easy. Defense minus 20 for fire. Ooh. I th think I'm over almost to the other enemy. Come on now. Do it. Do it. No. Okay. I, that, that guy will... We'll get better at it as we go. <laughs> okay, I guess, I guess we'll go ahead and call it here for the day. But tomorrow, same time, an hour before now, we'll be back... With Kiev, if you have any more questions, we're going to keep playing. We're going to try out a different build in this game. And uh, and we're, we're going to continue streaming today, doing our normal thing. But uh, today, we had one hour. Tomorrow, an hour. Sunday, an hour. No, no. Yeah. And so, uh, we'll check out more Dolmen. We're going to beat that boss tomorrow. Don't you worry about that. All right? Thank you for, for the opportunity. And let's kill this boss tomorrow. Yes, absolutely. Thanks for being here, Kiev. And we'll, we'll see you tomorrow. See you all. Bye-bye. Bye. Pirate got jibated, yeah. No, that was cool. Awesome. Uh, I I want to play more. I want to go beat that boss. And I also want to... <laughs> go ahead, man. I, uh, I, don't, I don't know if you got it, but uh, you, you don't have a demo. You have the full game, I guess. This is the full game, yeah. And we're But we're just getting kind of teleported into late, uh, late stage if, game. If you... If you use a regular build, uh, a regular loadout, you start in the, the initial game. Oh, I see, I see. I think I could only choose the Lobos loadouts, uh, at least from the main menu, but... Seriously, I, I tried to, to choose a, a different one and tell me. Let me see here. Yeah, I just have Lobos Jr. D1, D2, D3, and that's it. So. Oh. Would like to try some cheat codes I can give you, but... Some cheat codes? <laughs> I saw yeah. cheat codes in the menu, but that's that would be cheating. There's a lot of cheats. <laughs> I, I have a special version of the game. I don't 
I don't think those are uh, included in the base version. But okay, so do you like the game? Or do you like to give us some feedback, please? Your your opinion is a professional opinion, of course. Oh yeah, absolutely. I, I would be happy to sit down and and give my thoughts, probably on paper, where it can be more more well thought out. But we'll come that back. That would be greatly appreciated. Yeah, okay? absolutely. We'll See come you back tomorrow. tomorrow. It was great to work. Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, you as well. Thank you.